All right, guys, so Shohei Otani hasn't been traded this trade deadline, and um, not a shocker at all. I was pretty much 100% sure he wasn't going to get traded, and 100% sure I was going to disagree with this. Um, if you guys saw my last video, I guess it's sort of a follow-up for that. My last video was explaining why I think Shohei Otani shouldn't be traded, and uh, yeah, this is probably just going to be a follow-up. So Otani's going to finish the season on a team with a 100% chance of not making the playoff. He's going to finish another iconic season. And then he's going to play next season and have another iconic season. And maybe even get, possibly after next season, three MVPs in a row. Uh, and he's going to be on a team that doesn't make the playoffs again next season. The Angels are a doomed team. The Angels are a doomed team because they, they don't have talent, period. Like, it... I, I don't know what else to say about it. Like in in last video, I said you can comment down. Um, I'll take, you know, both sides. Honestly, there is no side to keeping Otani. The Angels are a bad team. Period. There's no side to paying that much for a superstar when you're this bad. You need this. If Otani got traded, it, we would have gotten the biggest package in MLB history. For a rebuilding team, which the Angels, their record shows that they're a rebuilding team. They're supposed to be a rebuilding team. And it is 100% proven that if you are a bad team, you need to go into a rebuild and get younger guys and trade away anyone with value and just start from scratch pretty much. That's what pretty much every team does. That's 100% accepted and normal. And the Angels, for some reason, don't do that. Uh, because the owner and just the horrible management, but yeah, like this is, this is just shows exactly what the ownership wants. And that's just to bring fans to the game because Otani is a big cash grab. All the fans come, he's super good, but we're not going to have a good team with just Otani, but it's almost like it doesn't matter. And there's no effort to get anyone else. Just keeping Otani and Trout is like the main goal. And like I said, it's just Otani's probably going to walk after next year. If he doesn't, he's dumb. Mike Trout is dumb. I'm going to be straight up and honest. Mike Trout is dumb. He sees how bad this team is every year and he chooses to stay. Everyone says they feel bad for these guys, but why are they choosing to stay on the team? You can, you have every right to walk away, but you're choosing to sign. It's like, if like, I don't know what's one of the best players in the league, Aaron Judge. Let's say Aaron Judge goes to sign like 10 years with the Rockies or like, you know, another kind of doomed franchise. And it's like everyone would be like, oh, yeah, I feel so bad for Aaron Judge. Well, why would he sign with that team? It's honestly like that with Mike Trout. Like, I have to be real. Like, why are you wasting every year with the, this team? And it, and honestly, for fans, it's like, how how long till we just like honestly give up? Because like. What are we watching every season for? I hate to be so negative, but like we know the result that's going to happen before the season even starts. So what's the the even point? Like I'm going to probably start go watching the Padres and actually watch exciting games and and become a big fan of baseball again because I've lost interest in baseball as a whole just from seeing I became a diehard fan in 2016, right? Seven straight seasons, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games for no reason. Like, it's fun and all, but I want to actually watch games that matter. Like, why do I keep going? Like, I don't know, man. I I, I think I will be a fan of, if Otani walks, I'm assuming Otani will, will leave the Angels once he becomes a free agent. And I might just become a fan of whatever team he goes to because... I just don't want to like watch. I want to make videos too that are like exciting and talk about exciting things. And Otani's exciting. And I've all year, you know, I've made videos about it, but I've lost interest in it because all the games, all these insane games in all this, like the way he's playing, it, it doesn't even matter because they're out of the playoff race. And I keep seeing on social media, like angel accounts and stuff, which, you know, credit to them for still posting and stuff but like they act super excited by this stuff Otani's doing but like it, it literally doesn't matter 
it doesn't matter at all which it, it, it's a negative view on it but it's like that's my reaction to the season and everything happening like for otani's sake too just like trade him and let him win like and trout like it it's just i don't know what to say like obviously i hope they turn things around but if you don't rebuild and you don't really buy enough players or enough talent to win you know what what are we even like watching the games for and stuff like you know what's going to happen every season so i don't know that's my opinion on it not very positive not a very positive take by me but you know that's you see the trade deadline the good teams they make trades for good players and maybe they'll trade away a couple prospects and the bad teams will trade away any value they have and they'll get some prospects you see that happening and you see okay both sides this makes sense this team's doing this this team's doing this and the angel it's like what are they doing like they have all this talent but they're still this they have this talent and they're ba bad so it's like the exact perfect opportunity for a great rebuild but nothing will happen so you know that's my take on it let me know what you think in the comments down below um yeah you know obviously i love otani he's a great guy but it, it's hard to watch at this point anyway let me know your opinion on this that's the video peace